So thanks for those, Martin. I'll just finish up our first day here at Punches Down with a couple of races. First up is the La Touche Cup, which is a four-mile, two-furlong, 0-160 handicap. So south side for Kevin Meenahan, friendly vantage Darren Thompson, Leon Van Rensburg's Fire Lord, Rosa Bell drop for David Robson, Pedro Hogan's Tintsin Friar and Chemin du Fay, John Morgan's Lark River, Daniel French's Dystonius Babylon, Guy Euler, Pay Drag for John Morgan as well, Windmill Rides for Stu Gray, Cirque for Martin Liederman, Hollywood. Del Hinton sends Boucher Blue. Over this four miles and two furlongs. Style has got him away. The rain's pouring down now here at Punches Tune. And we're going to see how these chasers get on. All of these, probably some of these would have raced last week at the National. They get to the first of the 22. They're all over it. There was a big ditch and there were a couple of slow ones. Dystonius Babylon was rather slow over it at the back. Reluctant leader here in Lark River, which is unusual for a, a John Morgan horse. But it is still taking it up. I think the fact that everyone else is a, a massive hold up horse has allowed this Lark River to take a three length advantage as we just dip our toes in the water there. And we're going to wait for them to reach the second. Which Lark River is a plain one skips over it. The rest of them also do. Fire Lord at the rear was a little slow over it. We've got an amazing four miles still to run. Anything could happen. So Lark River from Tintin Fry and Chemin Dauphet. That wide is Cirque for Martin Leadham. Friends Advantage. The Grey Southside. Did he not win the Grand National two seasons ago? Fell last week. For Kevin Minahan. Then we've got Guyola Pedrag in front of him. And Boucher Blue for Del Hinton. On the outside of that is Rosabelle Drop, also I think a faller last week. Although, as we know, David Robson picked up the Grand National, so he won't worry too much about Rosabelle Drop. Just on his inside is Windmill Rise and the Black Silks for myself, Stu Gray. And then Dystonia Babylon for Daniel French and Fire Lord for Leon Van Rensburg as they get to the fourth. Clear that, no mistakes. All looking pretty. The Lark River leads by five now to Tintin Brown and Chemin Dufay. Friendly Vantage and Cirque. They're four together, then a couple of lengths back to the next pack. Being led by South Fight and Giola Pedrag. And Boucher Blue a little bit wider. When we'll rise up against the route. Rosabelle Drop. Dystonia's Babylon and Fire Lord. So they're all still on their feet here, the 12 of them, as they get to this ditch. Didn't give them a kiss of stew there. They're all still on their feet. So they're through the first mile or so. And it's Lark River for John Morgan that leads from Tintin Frial, Friendly Vantage and Chemin de Fay. As Serp just drops back away from that pack and then Boucher Blue. And the row is Gaiola Paydrag. The grey in the race, south side. Rise to Stonius Babylon, Rosabelle Drop and Fire Lord still our back marker. They come to the seventh. We'll clear that. This Lark River. By five to Tintin Frile. Moving to second on his own, but he's got friendly vantage and Shemin de Fay. Close up for company. Then a length back to Cirque and Guyola Paydrag. They get to the eighth. Clear that as well. Slow jump at the rear by Fire Lord. That south side's our top weight here. Oh, mistake by our leader, Lark River, there. Took a stretch at it, got away with it. Still leads, but his advantage is down to just three now. Tintin Frial and Friendly Vantage and Chemin de Fay and Boucher Blue. Gloria Pedrag up against the route. Wider is Cirque, and we've got South Side and Windmill Rise. And the length just back to Dysonia's Babylon, Rosabel Drop, and Fire Lord. Happy to be at the back as they go over the tenth. Much better jump by the leader this time. And we'll get over it well. Again, Fire Lord wasn't his best jump. Lark River. And Tints in front and Friendly Vantage. To this ditch, the 11th. And we'll clear that. So half the fence is done. 
We've just got over two miles still to run. It's Lark River with a five length advantage from friendly Vargins in for our Boucher Blue and Goyola Pedrag. Uh, length to Cirque. Followed through by Shemin de Fay, the grey south side, and Rosabelle drops just a length away from them. When they'll rise still up against the route. But Stonius Babylon and Fire Lord. We're going to dip our toes in the water this time. As we come alongside the grandstand. And this, I'm pretty sure. Oh, a bit of a mistake there this time by Friendly Vantage. Probably his worst jump. It'll be the last next time round. Lark River, though, taking a little bit of a hold now as he come alongside the grandstand, probably just to show off and wave to his family. Boucher Blue of Del Hinton's has moved into second. And Goyola Paydrag also for John Morgan. And up on the rail is Tintsin Frile. They're a length away from Friendly Vantage, Shemin de Fay, Windmill Rise and Cirque. And then south side, a length to Rosebell Drop. Estonia's Babylon and Fire Lord as they go over the 13th. Mistake by a couple there. South Side and Estonia's Babylon both hit the ground hard. But it's Lark River from stablemate Gaiola Paydrag. And then Paydrag Hogan's Tintsim Frial. There's a bit of a, a bromance going on there as they go over the 14th. They all clear that. I think we Mill Rise just clipped the top of it. Still this Lark River from Tintin Frile in second. Guyola Paydrag is third. Shemin de Fay is fourth. And Boucher Blue is fifth. Windmill Rise is sixth. Friendly Vantage is seventh. Cirque is eight. Roosevelt Drop is nine as they go over the fifteenth. They all clear that. And Southside Fire Lord and Dystonius Babylon. Just the ones at the rear. We've still got a mile and a quarter to go. Everyone still has a chance in this because they're all still on their feet as they get to this small ditch, the sixteenth. All over that, Roosevelt drop was slow over it. Gave it plenty of air. And Michael Jordan on speed. But it's Lark River. With a three, four length advantage to the two Paydrag Hogan horses, Shemin de Fay and Tintsin Frail. Boucher Blue between them. Goya Paydrag. A bit wider is Friendly Vantage and Cirque and Windmill Rice still up against the route. Followed through by Roosevelt drop and south side. Fire Lords managed to move out of Tad on a stake by the leader again. Stretched it out as well as Rosabelle dropped and get over it well. But it's Lark River. A couple of fences, but his lead's down to just a length now. With a mile left to travel. And it's Lark River from Chemin de Fay. Moving up well on the outside is a lightweight Cirque. And Guyola Paydraggers go over the 18th. So five from home with four to take. The lead has changed and it's Chemin de Fay that takes it up from Lark River. Back to Cirque. Friendly Vantage get to the 19th. They're over it well. The leader didn't take it as well as Lark River. So Lark River and Shemin de Fay. These two are neck and neck. Windmill Rise moving up on the inside. Into to uh, share a third with Cirque. But moving on to third on his own. So Shemin de Fay, Lark River and Windmill Rise. These three are a length or so away from the chasing pack of Tintin Frau. Gaia of Paydrag, Cirque, Friendly Vantage. Rosabelle Drops got nowhere to go and locked in. Fire Lord trying to improve all the time up on the outside. The top weight is south side. Boucher Blue's got a bit to do. And it's a big change up front as they go over the 20th. It's Windmill Rise that's taken this up now. So Windmill Rise with a two length advantage from Shemin de Fay. Lark River starting to go backwards now from Goya Paydrag and Friendly Vantage but Windmill Rise has headed for home a little bit early as he gets to the 21st he's over it so we just one to take it's this Windmill Rise but we've still got just under half a mile to run Windmill Rise from Shemin de Fay Goya Paydrag Friendly Vantage Fire Lord up on the outside but Windmill Rise still leads but going to be challenged now by Shemin de Fay and it's Shemin de Fay and Windmill Rise as they come down to the last with two and a half furlongs left to run it's Shemin de Fay Windmill Rise has shot his bolt Friendly Vantage, Fire Lord up into fourth now. Running through the pack is Rosabelle Drop as well. Out wide is Southside, but it's still the Shemin de Fay from Friendly Vantage. Windmill Rise, Rosabelle Drop and Fire Lord as they go over the last. A slow jump by the leader. Shemin de Fay, Rosabelle Drop has got up now. Shemin de Fay, Rosabelle Drop and Friendly Vantage. Fire Lord needs to find a little bit more. We're inside the last furlong and it's south side on the wide outside but Rosabel drop. It's going to be Rosabel drop from Shemin de Fay and friendly vantage. Rosabel drop finding back on the inside is Shemin de Fay. Rosabel drop one. Rosabel drop from Shemin de Fay. He takes the Touche Cup. 
Yeah, we've got some good form on two horses that David Robertson Yard up in Scotland. He's been deep frying these Mars bars, stuffing them in the horses' faces. And Rosabelle drop for David Robertson takes it from Shemin de Vey of Pedrick Hogan in second. Friendly Vantage to Darren Thompson was third. Tinsin Frail got up for fourth of Pedrick Hogan. Well done. And Southside for Kevin Meenaham was fifth.